Good day, good day! How the hunk are you? Welcome to Roverland! This is your friend Dan O! Yeah! Welcome to another uh, episode of Roverland. We're taking a look at uh, anything and everything Land Rover, but first, shameless self promotion! <laughs> this Sunday, July 12, 2020, I'm going to have a boxing video. We're going to box stuff up and then we're going to uh, YouTube uh, random comment, random whatever they do, uh, raffle it off. So uh, pick it. So 9 o'clock, July 12th. Uh, yeah. So uh, whenever, uh, 9 o'clock when my uh, videos normally go out. All right, well, today we're going to be doing a little bit something a little bit different. Um, first off, let's talk about this uh, nice, beautiful uh, little display case that I got here. I picked this up at a junk shop, you know. Uh, oh, man, it was Goodwill. $2.99. <laughs> I always try to, I always keep the price tags on stuff. I don't know. But anyway, you can see it. It's just a nice little... Uh, Display case uh, isn't, isn't barely an inch long, an uh, inch deep, a little over an inch deep, and uh, all wood and whatnot. Um, I have to preface this in saying I am not a big camo guy. I do not like camouflage. I am not a big camouflage guy. I am a big military dude. I like like the military. I like military vehicles. I love drab green, <laughs> but I'm not a camel guy, uh, military or civilian camel. I just don't do it. But anyway, this one is not a bad um, camel design. And uh, what I did was I took, uh, this is uh, scrapbooking paper. And um, I took the scrapbooking paper and I glued it on the face of this thing and then what I did was I came back and I uh, took an exacto knife and I cut out each one of those holes and then pushed it back and glued it on the back side so now I have a camo uh, display case of uh, this here uh, in interesting uh, little uh, thing so anyway I don't know if I can get my lighting to uh, kind of show back into there so you can kind of see it a little bit better. There you go. That's a little bit better. So as you look at it, the camo is all in the correct uh, spot. It's just uh, indentated. So as you see, you can see I have a couple of little bit different things in here. Uh, not too many. Uh, because uh, these little buggers can get kind of spendy, yeah. Uh, these are pewter game pieces, yes. Uh, I'm not familiar with them. I tried, I, I shop at all kinds of different stores, and uh, I found some of these at a store. I found some of these on uh, eBay, uh, stuff like that. There are gaming places. Uh, kind of, they're not uh, Dungeons and Dragons, but they, I mean, they have those kind of games there. But these are warfare games, and you can buy fleets of stuff. Now, these are pewter. Uh, these are unpainted. I, I have not gotten, I'm, I might paint one of these because I got four of these. But anyway, uh, this is uh, one of the smallest uh, examples of Land Rovers that I have. And so let's take a look at them. I've got a new little toy, and uh, we're going to take a look at those. So uh, stick around. We're looking at pewter Land Rovers today. All right, we arranged the uh, camera. We've got a nice tight picture here of uh, these nice little uh, pewter Land Rovers. Now, this one here is... Um, I believe it's a series, series three. Yeah, and uh, you'll see in the front hood there, or in the front grill there, it kind of looks like a series three. 109 canvas top, uh, tire on the top. Uh, you know, I don't know how much uh, these really weigh or whatnot, 
Um, yeah, but uh, cute, cute little buggers there. Very, very nice. Uh, like I say, I'd like to, uh, you know, they take little special paints and stuff like that to uh, paint them and stuff. And uh, yeah, just kind of cool. So uh, I got got a couple of these, you know, and uh, excuse my big hunk and uh, sausage fingers there. But that's the one that I've got. Now you see, they're kind of uh, not really cast all the best. Uh, these are not detailed <laughs> models. These are just uh, game pieces. Uh, I've seen Monopoly pieces uh, casted better than these little buggers, you know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is the uh, biggest one that I have of, uh, of these uh, pewters. And uh, let's just kind of move along with, uh, I don't know, another one, huh? But uh, do you guys got any of these little buggers? These are quite the little... Uh, Quite the little things. I, I I like them. I think they're cool, uh, but I don't uh, I don't have many of them. They're they're just kind of unique. All right, uh, here's another one, and we're gonna take a look at the back end already. Uh, same thing, but smaller. Yeah, same thing, but smaller. I'm gonna put that back on there. Uh, and uh, once again, a 109 canvas top. I believe it's a uh, series three. Yeah, it's got the indentated uh, indentation of the radiator tire on the hood. But uh, just another little cute little bugger. I tell you, these, uh, yeah, they're they're kind of really kind of small. <laughs> you can see, you can see this is my thumb. Yeah, they're kind of small. <laughs> All right, here's another interesting one that I've got is uh, this one here. Now, this is kind of like, um, I don't know, it's got some, uh, I think it's a radio, uh, hard top, uh, still a 109 Series 3. It's got the uh, boxes up underneath, uh, right on top of the uh, front fenders. So, I, those are radio transmitter boxes or whatnot, but you can see there is some detail on the uh, front bumper even. This uh, front tire looks like it's a little low. <laughs> But uh, yeah, but it's a hard top, and uh, you can see even on this one uh, as the rear comes around, they do even have a little details in the uh, rear bumper there. Uh, very, very kind of unique. I, I like that uh, really a lot. So I think that's uh, is it uh, RAF radio? I'm I'm not really sure. All right, here's the next one. Now this one here is uh, uh, I believe an ambulance. 109 Series 3. It's got a little spotlight thing in the front there. Uh, some kind of roof rack things on top. Uh, very, very kind of cool. Now this one, the uh, back tire is kind of sagging there a little bit. The old uh, add-on ambulance body is kind of wearing at it, but it's got little windows in there. And uh, yeah, you can see uh, it's got uh, the fold-out doors in the back. Really kind of cool. I really like that. It's got some vents on the top. So they, I mean, they are not precision. Got the little bumperettes on the bumper there. Uh, but you can see that they have some, you know, some uh, details, but uh, not not all that great. <laughs> not all that great. All right, moving right along, we've got this one here. Yes, it's the uh, forward control. And uh, that one is um, really not too bad. Uh, plain. The front you can see has got no details at all, but you can see the split windshield is uh, pretty cool there. Uh, even the uh, window is uh, very nice. You can kind of see some of the ribbing there on the uh, like the bed. Now I would say that this would be a hard top. Uh, probably uh, what they use the ambulance or the radio for these but uh, very very kind of cool yeah it kind of looks kind of jacked up there in the front but hey not too bad I've got another one I believe this is supposed to be the same scale or size I'm not really sure if they're uh, 
the same manufacturer or whatnot, but you can see that they are uh, definitely two different uh, uh, molds. Molds, yeah. I, and like I say, I'm thinking I got one from somewhere and then the other one from somewhere else. This one here has got a lot, lot sharper edges and things like that. You can see some of the ribbing on the bottom there, but uh, really kind of cool. All right, so let's move on. We're getting along in the video here. Here we go. This is, uh, what do we got? This is a 88, I would say, 88 version, uh, probably a Series 3. Nah, kind of uh, really got some details on the uh, windshield there. Uh, that's really stamped out nice. The window is not too bad. I believe this is going to be like a hard top. Kind of looks a little bit more sturdy, I guess. But uh, really kind of cool, really kind of cool. Uh, here comes the back. Oh, we've got a bullet hole right in the middle there, yeah. Boy, this uh, didn't work out so well for these guys. But uh, yeah, the front, <laughs> yeah, the front kind of, maybe an elephant sat on that one, I don't know. <laughs> but really kind of cool. All right, I got one more we'll take a look at. And uh, yeah, here it is. Now this one I know for sure, this is an 88 lightweight the military lightweight, the lightweights uh, were um, built so you could drop them from a helicopter. Yeah, well, not per se drop them, but yeah, <laughs> transportable by helicopter. So um, yeah, I, I had a friend uh, that uh, had one of those and uh, pretty awesome V8 in that bugger, yeah. But uh, once again, I think that looks kind of like a hard top there, not most of those did not come in hard tops, but uh, very kind of cool, very kind of cool. With this one, I've got a little extra something or other. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how we uh, do this, but uh, this one, uh, I've got a little trailer with it. Yeah, look at that bugger, huh? Got a little trailer with this one, and of course it's gonna spin around and we're gonna speed this up. <laughs> So anyway, I got a little trailer with this one, and well, I put it with this one, I don't know. But uh, there you go. What a, what a, what a little unique um, uh, dis display of pewter Land Rovers. I don't know if any of you guys uh, have such a thing or have seen such a thing, but uh, just another part of my collection that I've got. Uh, really kind of cool cars. I'm uh, excited about them. They're, uh, yeah, they're quite the, quite the thing to have. All right, that's going to be it for me. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you uh, subscribe. We're going to have that uh, giveaway. So you got to be uh, subscribed to the channel to win that. Uh, share. Yeah, share these videos. I hope uh, people enjoy them. Most people do. <laughs> Comment down below. And uh, yeah, just uh, come on over to Facebook, Roverland. Uh, ask to be a member over there. You can share your pictures and thoughts and all kinds of stuff over there. Instagram, Roverland channel. And uh, so that's going to be it. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, slow traffic keep right. Have a great rover day!